the tall seated on the stability ball, pronated grip overhead press. This is going to be much more demanding from a mobility standpoint. In order to bring those arms out, we have to have a lot more external rotation in the shoulders and it's going to make, it's going to encourage you to want to arch your back even more, which means you've got to keep that belly braced. So the position itself is the same. We're sitting on the ball, belly braced, ribs are down, but you'll see as I bring the hands out, I'm not going to worry about getting so low. Anytime we do our presses, the down phase, we talk about pulling the weight down towards us. With that pronated grip position, I'm going to feel that natural stopping point about here, which is really more like a 90 degree angle or right when that elbow drops the shoulder. So most of us are going to finish here and press right back up. Okay? So that's important to keep in mind. If you try to bring it to those shoulders, you're going to feel that discomfort. You're going to feel real cramped up and we're trying to uh, specifically maintain this pronated grip. So press straight line up overhead, pull it down, feel that natural stopping point where your upper back is really nice and tight about a 90 degree angle and press right from there so that the tension stays on the right muscles. We're still hitting the front of the shoulder. We're getting a little bit more of that top of the shoulder now and the tricep is obviously a prime mover but it's much more of a mobility uh, demand, higher mobility level demand when you're hitting this pronated grip. So when you earn it, master it. If you have trouble with those shoulders, feel free to come right back to that neutral until you're ready to come back out.